Hi, and welcome to how to auto-provision Cisco SPA phone video tutorial. In this video, we will use Cisco 8851 to demonstrate the auto-provisioning. However, the same procedure can be used for other Cisco SPA phones, as it is very similar. Before you start, the first thing you need to do is reset your phone to factory settings. Unless your phone is brand new and is currently set to factory settings, then you don't have to do this step. Otherwise, navigate to Settings menu and under Device Administration, select Factory Reset. Once done, select OK to reset your phone to factory settings. It will take a minute for your phone to reset and reboot. After a reset, you will be asked to enter a new password. For tutorial purposes, we will skip this part, but it is strongly recommended to set a password on your phone. When done, you will have to check your firmware version. It is important that your phone is loaded with appropriate firmware version. Different models may require different firmware versions. You can look up which firmware version is supported for your device at wiki.pycomsystems.com slash UADs. To check which firmware version you have currently installed, navigate to phone settings menu and under status, select product information. Your firmware version will be displayed under software version field. If you have trouble installing the firmware, please contact Bicom support team. Next, you will have to adjust the UAD settings, create the extension and register your phone. Inside the tenant settings, under auto provisioning section, enter the username and password for provisioning server. Remember this as you will need it later in this tutorial. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, select the desired tenant and under Tenant Settings menu, navigate to UAD. Find your device and open to Device Edit Options. Make sure that under General section, Status is set to Active, and under Auto Provisioning section, Auto Provisioning and DHCP is set to Yes. Once done, click Save to apply the settings. Next, under Extension menu, click on Add Extension. Select your device from UAD list, and under Location, Set Remote. Click Next Step button, specify the extension name and email, select the department, and under Mac, enter the Mac address of the phone. You can find the Mac address on the back of your phone, and also inside the phone settings menu, under Status, Product Information. Once you have entered the Mac address, click Save to apply the settings. This completes all the settings you need to do inside of PBXware. Next, you will need to register your Cisco phone by setting up the provisioning server. Easiest way to do this is through the phone web interface. You will need the phone IP address in order to access the phone web interface. To obtain the IP address of the phone, inside the phone settings menu, click on status and then network status. And under IP address field, you will see your phone IP address. Enter the IP address in your browser and once logged in, click on Admin Login and then click on Advanced to enable the advanced settings. With the advanced settings enabled, under Voice menu, select the Provisioning submenu and under Profile Rule field, you will need to enter your provisioning server username, password and server address. Start by typing open bracket double dash UID space, then enter your provisioning server username space double dash PWD space your provisioning server password and then close the bracket, followed by your server address slash prov slash dollar sign MA dot CFG. Your server name can be IP address or a host name. In both cases, you will need to enter full URL. Once done, click on Submit button to apply the settings. If you have entered everything correctly, your phone will reboot automatically. Once your phone is finished rebooting, you should have successfully registered your phone to PBXR. Thank you for watching this video, and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.